I'm, I have to be selfish for a minute and tell you, I was a little emotional thinking about doing this interview because I'm not sure I've interviewed you since the idol red carpets when you and Cade were like maybe starting a date and now you're a mom and nominated the most at Billboard on Sunday. Yeah. How does it feel to have the most nominations, to be up for nine awards? How is that feeling to you? Crazy. It's overwhelming, but in the best way, if that makes any sense. Like, this is one of those things that it's really hard to kind of put into words because it doesn't really feel real, you know? Like, when you work for so long towards something and that it actually happens it's hard for me to kind of switch gears because I've just been in the mode of like trying to get to these places of getting onto the awards and getting the number one songs and so now that you're actually like eh, pit stop we're here we're making a stop it's like whoa so it's it's really cool oh the female finalist with the most nominations if you had to pick one that you really want to win which one is it Oh my gosh, I don't know. I would say, oh my gosh, I don't know. They're all really good. Um, I'm like, uh, you're that top maybe, new artist. Maybe, uh, yeah, I was going to say best female uh, country artist. I think I would really like that one, would be really cool. But any of them would do, but that one would be really cool. You've just been so true to yourself through the wild and crazy past couple years, it feels like to me. Um, how did it feel for you, uh, for example, like I saw this Instagram picture you posted and you said, here's my real life. I'm doing laundry, I'm cooking, I just did interviews. How, what, how grounded is you and Cade's everyday life still despite being at these awards shows and nominated in public figures? Yeah, it's, uh, I, I just like to show people on social media because, you know, social media can portray, can portray a lot of just the positive things and the upsides in like people's lives and things that kind of just look, I don't know, masked a little bit, you know, like not like the nitty gritty of your life. And so with me, I just want people to know like, I'm not just this, oh, she's on this award show and here and there. And it's like, I still hustle and bustle and do the dishwasher every day and cook and fold and try to live the life of, you know, finding the balance of, yeah. of being a mom and entertaining and, and just trying to balance everything out. So I think it's always fun just to see like how people are actually living behind, you know, being a performer too. You wrote the sweetest letter to your little one on Mother's Day. How has being a mom changed <laughs> you and how has parenthood changed you and Cade's relationship? Oh, gosh. Um, uh, a lot. So, like, when I first got married, that changed me in a lot of different ways. You grow up in a lot of different ways. And then when you have a baby, you grow up in even more ways. In the Christian faith, there's a term called dying to yourself. And uh, definitely when you have a baby, you definitely learn to die to yourself and everything's just about them and centered around them. And it and it's actually really helpful because I think I could definitely become more um, selfless and, and help other people in a lot of different ways. And so her being brought into the world has helped me so much in, in a lot of different ways as a person. And so it's been it's been neat to kind of see even myself evolve in a lot of different things. Did you have a good first Mother's Day, by the way? I did. I did. It was very, very, very sweet. And I was like, is this really happening? Am I really celebrating Mother's Day? Because I'm just so used to like telling my mom like, happy Mother's Day. And now it's, now it was reversed onto me and it was pretty cool. What did Kate do? So he got me a bunch of sweets that I like and set them out. Um, and he was extremely helpful with the baby. Um, throughout the day and then he he made me a little bath and put like candles and stuff there and it was like the perfect end to the day and I was like yes so oh, it was very nice that's amazing yeah. um so you are looking also at hitting the road again soon right with Thomas Rhett yes. what's it gonna be like to a be performing again and b how will you handle it with Kate and the baby are they coming with you what's the plan yeah I'm really excited to finally be able to hit the road and do some shows um, what it'll kind of look like, I mean, we'll have a tour bus and um, have our own kind of home on wheels, you know, um, which will be nice and exciting. Um, 
she will definitely be with us. I'm really excited for her to kind of be able to watch us on the side of the stage and as she grows, become more aware of what we do and songs and things like that. And then eventually, hopefully we can write a song about her and it'll just be, and it'll just be so sweet. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting to now experience live shows and performances and all of those things with her, with us, so. That's gonna be a musical child. She's got some good genes. I know. I know. She's a very lullaby baby right now. So she loves music. She falls asleep to like little, little music. So I'm like, oh, there it is. There it is. Well, Billboard on Sunday, we can't wait to see if you win them all. Um, but is there anybody else who you are looking forward to seeing, meeting, maybe like connecting with for a potential collab? We got Nick Jonas, we got Pink, tons of cool artists. Oh my gosh, I I honestly don't know. I don't know who I don't know who all I'm going to end up seeing. I'm definitely excited to see lots of people um that are going to be performing and I'm not sure how everything's working and all of that with, you know, covid precautions and whatnot. Yeah. Um but I'm definitely excited to see because all of a lot of the stuff that I've went to is a lot of like country music stuff and so I haven't really went to anything that's like kind of all genres across the board. Um so I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Pink's getting the Icon Award. I could kind of see you and Pink killing it on a song together. Pink? Oh my gosh. That would be insane. She's got some crazy vocals. I will take that. Yes. Uh, well, I got to wrap with you, girl. But man, it's uh, okay. just final question. It, it's, it's, it is just wild to me. You've done so much in the past couple of years. Do you look at your life and, and did you have any idea you'd be where you were, where you are now at this still this young age? No. I had no idea this was going to happen ever since kind of getting off of American Idol and just hitting back at the ground and really moving to Nashville and diving into everything and working hard to get a record deal and writing songs and really getting into the community and everything. I mean, the music industry has just been absolutely wonderful towards me, which is extremely humbling. I'm very blessed um, for that and I appreciate it so much and everybody's just been so kind. So it's been a crazy roller coaster past three years, I guess now. And uh, yeah, it's crazy that I'm here. So I'll be flying on cloud nine for, for a, a good bit. Married, baby, Billboard Music Award finalist. So many congrats. <laughs>